WordPress Advanced Shipping Plugin Tutorial. In this video, we are going to be talking about WordPress and how you can set up advanced shipping for yourself in the easiest and most simplest way. Now, we all know that shipping is one of the most important bits in a video. And in this video, I'm going to install a free advanced shipment tracking plugin. Now, this plugin will help you add the shipment tracking feature in your WooCommerce website. The name of the plugin is Advanced Shipment Tracking Plugin. This plugin has free as well as the premium version and uh, the premium version will cost you around $129 per year. However, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the free version of this plugin. So to start things off, what you are going to be doing is you're going to go over ahead to your basic dashboard of your basic WordPress section. Now, there are a lot of shipment providers like we have YITH, we have different uh, plugins like Airlift and a whole lot of more WooCommerce personal plugins. And as you can see, I'm also using a few of them like YITH over here. Now, this is a plugin that I saved by custom for myself when it came to shipping. And as you can see, I've set things up for myself as well, where it provides me proper carrier links and all for my tracking. But in this case, we're going to be using something different. So as you can see right now, I'm logged into my WordPress. So to go into the plugin section, we're going to go to add plugins. Now, once you come to add plugins, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your search section. And here you're going to go ahead and write advanced shipment. Okay, so that is what we're going to be writing. And we're going to click on search. So once you click on search here, you get advanced shipment tracking for WooCommerce. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to go ahead and click on this and open it up. So once you open it up here, you can see you have advanced shipment tracking for WooCommerce. It's totally free and you can install and activate it anytime you want. But also you have to make sure that you have the creator plan on WordPress. Without that, you will not be able to install it. So the active installations are also around 60,000, which is pretty cool. And now over here, if you want to install it, just click on install and activate. And as you can see, it starts setting up the plugin as we go on. So once this plugin is activated, it says your site more powerful than ever. So basically, that means that it has added the plugin. Now, once you have added the plugin and you have refreshed everything, this plugin should appear over here where it's going to say advanced, um, you know, basic uh, necessities of the plugin. Now, what we're going to do from here is we are going to come over to our WooCommerce section. OK, and in the WooCommerce section, what we're going to want to do is we're going to obviously put up some order tracking options and a whole lot more. So we're going to go to shipment tracking down here. And once you go to shipment tracking, I'm just going to go ahead and skip all of this. And this is basically your advanced shipment tracking that gets added into the main settings section or the feature section of WooCommerce. So once you're over here, you're going to open up your general settings. So in the general settings, you have things like adding tracking order action and order email supply. So you can, you know, use these to get displayed partially and uh, you could remove things like updated tracking, partially shipped, completed processing. There's different things that you can add. So in order emails display, as you can see, it gives us things like on hold, refunded, failed customer invoice. So different parts of widgets that you can personally add for yourself if you want to. Then moving on from here, you can go over to order statuses and notification where you can rename the different notifications with different labels. OK. You can move over to shipment tracking API and in the shipment tracking API, you get the same amount of features that you generally get. OK, you can set the date accordingly. So let's say I'm going to choose the API date format as a uh, day, month and year. Once you do that, you have usage tracking as well, where you can make changes on opt in email notifications. You can also opt into WordPress's environment info and a whole lot more. So pretty standard stuff and moving on. You have shipping carriers. Now, these are people that are going to be your shippers. So, you know, like uh, UPSP, DHL, any type of courier service that you want, it can all be done through this. So you need to enable the proper courier services through this section. OK, and to enable them, you're simply going to click on enable carriers. And as you can see, it's going to give you different carriers that it's compatible with. So you have Canada Post, DHL Parcel, DHL US, etc. So Let's say I'm going to go with DHL US. I'm going to add them and you can add multiple. OK, you don't necessarily need to go with one of them. So if you go 
front with pages, you can see more and more as you go on. And you can also search something by, you know, um, name. So let's say I want to search TCS Express. Okay. Now, once we do that, we're going to click on add. And as you can see, all our necessary widgets get added over here. And this is how you're going to basically set up your carriers. This is how you're going to add carriers accordingly to yourself. It could be through your country. It could be your international. So for international, let's say I'm going to go with DHL US for my own country, which is, you know, domestic. I'm going to go with TCS Express. So as you can see, it is compatible with all these different parcel systems and, um, you can go ahead and work with these as much as you want to. There's also stuff like P uh, FedEx, there's stuff like ABF, APC, whatever you want. It's all doable. So once you have added your carriers into the section, you can import any data to your section as well. So if we come to CSV import, you can import any types of data uh, through a CSV file format. So if you've, you've, you've been using another shipment tracking platform and you have different details and data on that for different, uh, you could say equipments, you can add that in this section as well. And moving on, there's different integrations to apps as well. So if you come over to the integration section, you can see different integrations like Ordoro, ShipStation, QuickBooks, Royal Mail, Parcel Force, Inventory, and so it goes on. Now, the thing about integrations is that you can only add it on the free plan. So with this plugin, you need to go pro at least to, you know, uh, fully unlock it for yourself. So you can go pro easily. And also you can add this integration, which is called TrackShip, where your post shipping and delivery is autopiloted. So you can get this for yourself as well. Okay. And you can start off totally from free. So, you know, pretty incredible. Now, moving on, let's say we are here in orders. Okay. And let's say we have an order in the order section. Now what the advanced shipment tracking application does for you or the plugin does for you is that it goes through the orders that you actually have in the section and you can actually add tracking in that order if you want to. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and add an order for myself. And in that order, let's say I'm going to go ahead and add proper tracking info. So if I click on add tracking info, you can add tracking numbers. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and add this tracking number in it. Okay. And you can go ahead, choose your shipping provider. So as you can see, we chose TCS Express and DHL. So you can go with whatever you think, you know, is, uh, goes well for you. So I'm going to go with TCS Express. I'm going to click on fulfill order. And Basically, whatever your order is, it's going to be fulfilled through the basic um, tracker that we have over here. And the tracker that we have is obviously, as I stated, the advanced shipment tracker. So any orders you go up to, you can easily go ahead and track them through this section. And as you can see, you have shipment tracking with the proper shipment tracking order number as well. So this is how basically you can set up advanced shipment tracking for your orders in the easiest and most simplest way. And it appears over here as well. And you can simply go ahead to this order tracking number. And if you go over to TCS Express, as you can see, it opens up its tracking central. So people can enter their order tracking number straight in this section, and this will track that order as it is. Okay. So that's the best part about all of this. Okay. So if I go over through it all again, just go over to your plugins. Once you go to your plugins, write in advanced shipment tracking. Once you do that, you're going to download it and it's going to appear right here under your WooCommerce feature section. And under the WooCommerce section, go ahead, add all the settings you want to set it along to yourself, add your shipping carriers, enable them accordingly. And that should set you up with advanced shipment tracking. So yeah, that's how you can do the proper order tracking setup on your WordPress or WooCommerce. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop down a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll be seeing all of you in the very next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.